We, we should not be receiving work that has glaring errors in footnotes and sources. My people should not be double checking a third party provider's footnotes. I'm not sure if you caught up with the story about Deloitte and their report that was commissioned by the Australian government. $440,000 report and it actually was full of AI errors and misquotes. I think the big takeaway really is every company's needing to use AI now to compete and Deloitte's not going to stop using AI. The trick is how you do it and how you do it safely. If you don't put the governance in place at the right point and don't treat it as an afterthought, you know, your reputation can be destroyed in minutes. So the big takeaway is really making sure that you've got the humans in the right part of the processes that you've got the accountability in place so that the ownership is not being passed off to the AI itself. I think leaders just need to think really carefully about how and where they're going to use AI. Is it actually adding value or is it actually just creating risk? We talk a lot about this at Generation AI. It's something we teach in the AI Mastery Program. It's built into every component of what we do, including our digital strategy design. At the Generation AI website, we've got a lot of useful information. Our guides and resources all have this focus in mind. How do we get AI to add value and not just create more risk?